uh, this video is an addition to this video I, uh, this is my channel so to this video which is uh, uploaded on the 7th of July this year it is a uh, video of an email I sent to United States Department of Justice Attorney General Garland and the Senate so they of course haven't responded as can be seen uh, on my channel so uh, there are some calls I made to uh, uh, to FBI they also ignore me this is this was uh, uh, all regarding uh, international organized crime that also has uh, Serbia involved some uh, parts of email uh, are related to Jeffrey Epstein scandal because uh, the uh, so again those monsters you can hear the alarm those monsters from emergency are sounding the alarm on their on, on their vehicles to scare people to get vaccinated okay so uh this was uh, part of that email was on uh, so if you go to this video uh, it, it contains the that email and parts of that email explained so important parts and uh, I mentioned Jeffrey Epstein scandal because it uh, uh, caused uh, all those Western and Western European countries that are involved so not, not just uh, United States but also France uh, UK and uh, in Germany through Deutsche Bank a bank French of course uh, with the uh, main supplier of kids for traf sex trafficking rings of kids not young women is that monster and piece of shit Al Dershowitz used to say and he's still saying and uh, of course UK through Prince Andrew or Randy Andy so to this day to this very day the uh, Metropolitan Police of former Scotland Yard are avoiding to uh, investigate this okay so uh, I mentioned some things uh, some facts in this video in this email but I uh, he didn't uh, have uh, all the data I needed all the information I needed so I, uh, I need to collect some some date uh, some information piece of inf information we're missing so I'm now uh, adding this uh, these missing pieces of information and uh, I, I will try to go chronologically with the first mention of uh, so this part is on international organized, organized crime related to uh, illegal arm, arms trade so I will start first with uh, chronologically with uh, articles or documentaries that uh, started uh, working on that topic or that or, or on that scandal uh, but before that I can close this yeah but before I close this I need to show that uh, Google is banning me I think even you uh, Yahoo but I will create a separate video on this so this is one of the uh, on my videos US DOJ still I can move this here you still doesn't block me on Twitter although I accused US government so uh, like US, although I accused US government of illegal arms trade so uh, and as can be seen here nothing is happening another video video of, of that 
email to DOJ is also not shown. And uh, I don't know if I try something. So th this was, uh, these are the videos if you type DOJ, get these videos. So uh, I, I was following what's happening on Twitter because uh, DOJ haven't, uh, hasn't responded. I uh, sent a link to this video using my Twitter account to their Twitter account, official Twitter account of DOJ and I was following what's happening with that tweet with their i sent this within uh one of their tweets of so this video and uh, three more videos uh one was on fbi ignoring me the third one was on uh, a russian embassy involved in protecting their doctors who injected something into my eye that caused the uh, uh, for cancers, for eye melanomas, and I don't know what was the fourth one. You can see that here in those. Uh, so they even reordered the, the tweets. They were at the top, then they are now not really uh, at the bottom, but some, somewhere below the middle of their tweet uh, replies. So I followed what's, what's happening with that tweet, so they're still not blocking me. I think I uh, checked that last time on, uh, I think three days ago. So it's still not, I'm still not blocked by them, although I accuse them of being as, uh, it stays, as it stays here in this title, I accuse the United States government as being at the top of of uh, illegal arms trade related to Ser Serbia and not, not just to Serbia, to our other Eastern European countries. So this is called delegation. And as can be seen here, this is not shown in the some shadow band. So let's see if, if this is shown. This is also sensitive matter, but not that much. This is on uh, one of the most popular journalists in Serbia protecting uh, protecting pedophiles. I mean, general journalists in Serbia are not writing about. Uh, okay, so I should go again to this title to, to show that it's not it's shadow band but if I go here uh, it is shown even with my uh, and also Biljana Djurjevic who is mentioned in the in the title although I haven't added that uh, it, it is also picked up in my uh, account but the rest of it related to the Department of Justice, United States Department of Justice is not shown. So on shadow ban, I think this also goes uh, for uh, Yahoo. You can check it out. I checked the previous one, by, uh, but I haven't checked this one. Okay, so what about this? Yeah, and it also shows this guy who is mentioned in the video, which is nice. Okay, so I'm shadow banned on some sensitive matters, and uh, before I start with the uh, documentaries <coughs> and uh, articles on, on this uh, scandal. So it broke out uh, last year or something like that, year, year and a half 
but only for uh, regarding one factory, one arms factory, state owned, called Krushik. And as uh, I'm going to show here, it, uh, that was going on from uh, 2001 or 2002, so uh, 20 years now, that illegal arms trade, everybody was uh, covering up that, but now they cannot do it anymore. So before I continue with the documentaries on that and articles on that matter, I will uh, show that I uh, contacted, because everyone was ignoring me, I contacted in the end uh, Supreme Court of Serbia, they were also ignoring me. So this is the link here in this video, also my channel. A link to G Drive, to final folder, and if you go to this folder, which is folder related to uh, mails I sent to the a, uh, Supreme Court of Serbia, and of course there are some of their answers, so, uh, of course, I'm not logged in, so this is, uh, this is public access. So I sent them uh, to uh, Supreme Court of Cassation of Serbia. I sent them uh, this, I called it uh, lawsuits, but it, it is also, it can also be considered as crime report on international organized crime. There were a total of eight international organized crime cases listed here, but uh, now there are 37, I found uh, 29 more cases in the meantime. So I sent this, as can be seen, uh, on 19th of June uh, last year, and the first crime case, illegal uh, international uh, organized crime case listed here is uh, illegal arms trade. So uh, I won't go into details on other crime cases because there will be a separate vid video on that. But uh, I'm ju just going to show the a, uh, answer of uh, not just any judge but the president. He's now retired, I think. So uh, the answer of the president of uh, Supreme Court of Cassation of Serbia. So this is their uh, their address, of course. So this is the guy. He's a judge, of course. So Dragomir Milojevic. <coughs> And uh, it was sent on the 6th of July last year. He basically said here that he doesn't know uh, what uh, sort of uh, legal protection uh, um, I requested. <coughs> and what are the reasons of uh, writing to them. And uh, then he uh, said that their court is not responsible for this. I, I wrote to this court, actually I filed a lawsuit. I have a right to do that when uh, all the prosecution offices are ignoring me. This is according to the law on, of uh, criminal proceedings, but that part is uh, removed. So the part where uh, it is defined that you can, in certain cases, when uh, Prosecution offices are ignoring you. You can start acting as a state prosecutor. So you as a citizen can, can act as a state prosecutor. I was just uh, invoking that part of the law. I can do that because it, that part of the law is uh, illegally removed. So he is now here. Uh, the president <coughs> of uh, Supreme Court is now using the same trick as all the other uh, not just prosecution offices so I contacted all of them including prosecution office for organized crime for war crimes 
because the uh, those illegal uh, illegally traded arms are used for uh, you know, for uh, war crimes, for instance, in Canon. I will show that article. So uh, the trick they are using is that they are considering everything as a complaint. And in that case, they can do whatever they want. So they are not considering uh, what I wrote as a crime report and lawsuit, but as a complaint. It is, he said that here. And of course, that it's not his responsibility, that he doesn't know what, uh, who, who is responsible here, who committed that, those crimes. So basically playing dumb, he doesn't, that he doesn't know what, what this is all about. So, uh, in the reasons, and uh, he has, he wants reasons for uh, filing this as uh, he, He's considering this uh, a uh, so for filing this complaint. So this is not a complaint. This is both a uh, lawsuit and uh, a crime report. So because there are some parts which need uh, to be investigated by by the by the prosecution offices, the highest instance of prosecution offices, because there is no prosecution office dealing with international uh, organized crime, only with domestic, but uh, this part can be can be prosecuted by the highest instance of a prosecution. This is a Republic prosecution of Serbia or RJT. So here it is, Republic State Prosecution Office. This is their uh, website. So this is the newly, she's uh, more than 12 years. Uh, she's a commie daughter, daughter of commie judge. And uh, I will create a separate feed on, on, on her. So these are, uh, all the international, most international institutions that are supporting the a, uh, this prosecution, probably of other prosecution offices. So, uh, as I just showed, the uh, the highest instances ignore me. So. Uh, this uh, highest instance of prosecution also ignored me, sorry, public prosecution ignored me. There is uh, also the a uh, folder with mails to, to them in this folder that I just showed. So uh, let's see if there is something else to mention before I uh, continue chronologically. This is okay. Okay. So as you can see, these are uh, all uh, articles, both international, domestic, and international organized crime. Look at this one movie. So okay, I'm starting from the beginning chronologically this is the video on uh, illegal arms trade related to libya so from serbia to libya it is this is the date so 2016 end of 2016 basically and uh, as i already covered this topic in other video that i'm that I still haven't uploaded. So it is important to uh, explain who are these people who are creating this video. So all of them 
are either su uh, supported by uh, foreign governments, so funded by foreign governments, like this one. And this, of course, this is uh, this is uh, this radio is actually uh, established in uh, in United States. I'll show that right away. So uh, these are the the same videos because this is col collaboration of Insider and uh, Radio Free Europe. So the same video. And uh, I think that even the date is the same. Yeah. So they they are uh, they were collab collaborating. So if you go to Insider one of these two productions if you go to their site you have here the main editor editor in charge who is Brankitsa Stankovic and you can see in her bio that she was uh, attending those crash courses on so-called investigative journalism in uh, Western uh, European countries and this goes for all the other uh, people who are uh, who has those big productions so uh, Thompson is mentioned here British Foundation B52 this is a Serbian television and they also have newspapers they are they are funded by source this is established fact so uh, the reason of their existence is that, uh, and the reason they are they are creating these uh, these uh, documentaries and write, writing out articles is to avoid mentioning. Uh, so as you can see here, it's insider, but it's uh, Radio Free Europe. Their uh, stamp. So their uh, main mission is to avoid mentioning uh, involvement of Western and Western European countries in any sort of organized international uh, international organized crime related to, to Serbia. They won't mention that here or in any other video that they're doing that at all possible costs. So this is their main goal. And uh, I just need to show the so again this is these two are the same videos so I need to show who who are these people from uh, Radio Free Europe so if I go to uh, David Sarnoff uh, I need English Wikipedia so this is the guy he was uh, chairman of RCA and if I go to Radio Free Europe that's that's it so he was basically the one who funded who founded the, the, the Radio Free Europe so that's the same thing and of course satanic sign of light bearer or morning star of Lucifer so uh, they are uh, founded in uh, United States, but they are uh, dealing with Europe, which is very strange. So uh, in one word, globalist media. I don't need this anymore. And uh, what is also interesting to mention here is uh, Conchita Sarnoff. Sarnoff, she uh, wrote a book in 2000, uh, he started writing about uh, Epstein, I think, before Drew K. Brown. So, uh, so this is this was in uh, 1984 when they married, and. Uh, if you look for grandson, so uh, the guy who married Conchita Sarnoff is uh, 
grandson of David Sarnoff. So chairman of RCA, so that's, that is the guy, the same, it's the same date of when he died, it's the date of death, on that Wikipedia page. So uh, she wrote, she wrote trafficking, trafficking, this is about Jeffrey Epstein, and uh, what was the date? 2015, yeah. So Julie K. Brown uh, published those articles, I think, in 2019. So, uh, of course, both of them are just rip-offs of some other journalists like Ann Coulter or authors. Ann Coulter wrote about that when it was just a uh, local story and also this guy Nigel Rosser uh, is uh, he was uh, maybe he's still a journalist of uh, Evening Standard he wrote uh, he wrote about uh, main uh, financiers of uh, Jeffrey Epstein in 2001 so he mentioned uh, Donald Trump, Bill Gates, and Leslie Waxner as uh, main uh, financiers of Jeffrey Epstein, whatever that meant. So uh, these other people are just uh, Conchita Sarnoff and uh, or Sarnoff and Julie K. Brown. They are just ripoffs of those people. So there is an excellent video on uh, interview with. And Coulter explaining what uh, Alan Dershowitz and his team did to those girls, those victims, and uh, how they were threatening and blackmailing and uh, intimidating even the police, chiefs of police. <laughs> so uh, I will uh, create a separate video on. on uh, these journalists, so Conchita Sarnoff and uh, Julie Brown, so I'm just you now mentioning this to show that uh, all these things are, are controlled, so uh, they are not mentioning, they are not writing about the, the, the most important uh, witness or victim of Jeffrey uh, Epstein, which is Maria Farmer, they are just uh, have some control narrative narrative if she's uh, talking to the press so uh, again everything is controlled so they are choosing people who are who will tell the truth such as uh, this lady Sarnoff, Conchita Sarnoff and uh, Julie K. Brown and so and so so uh, I'm not showing uh, the most important parts of this documentary so uh, this is about two people from uh, Serbian embassy in Libya being uh, uh, murdered so they are murdered during the bombing of uh, one of ISIS camps or something like that because they were uh, arrested by uh, I don't know terrorists it was uh, some sort of problem, misunderstanding, and they thought they, uh, they might compromise them. Some people thought they might compromise them, and that this camp was bombed, and they died. As a, they were murdered as a collateral damage. So two people from Serbia, they were their staff of embassy uh, in Libya, Serbian embassy in Libya. So it says here, this is a Security Council report uh, published in 2003 and uh, it mentions this guy I need to mute it because it's in Serbian it doesn't mean anything if I play it so uh, this is the most important part so this is the guy who is uh, related to uh, 
he has Prime's firm. He's related to uh, illegal restraint. And it says here it started in 2001 and 2002. These are uh, the dates when uh, weapons were man manufactured. So this is right after Milosevic's fall. We knew so-called democratic uh, government started their ruling. So, uh, of course, I'm, I'm not supporting Milosevic for most of the things, Slobodan Milosevic for most of the things he's, he's done, but these are uh, way worse than he was. <coughs> so, uh, and this part is also in, uh, in, in important. So, uh, this was export of Serbian manufactured arms. In this case, it was Lib Liberia, but uh, the, the most important is that it started in, actually in 2001. And uh, this is the, something that, that was constantly happening. I think that there were no breaks, uh, pauses on this. They, they, uh, they were continually, continuously doing this. And the other part which is important is uh, of this uh, documentary is this one. So this is uh, Security Council Committee uh, delisting that guy, Slobodan Tešić. He is actually from Montenegro. Uh, sorry, from Bosnia and Herzegovina. So that happened ten years after he was listed as. Uh, on travel, uh, on travel ban, he was on the list of, uh, of travel ban for uh, illegal arms trade, but it actually never stopped. So this was going on for uh, twenty years now. So uh, they delisted him. This can be seen. So here he is. I don't know why they did that. Because he's now, they are now mentioning him again regarding that new scandal which was, which happened with one of the factory, uh, arms factory in Serbia called Krušik. Uh, I don't know if I have. A yeah, here it is. So this is Krušik, and uh, it all started when it turned out that the father of the this guy. He is now Minister of uh, Defense, imagine that. And uh, at that time he was Minister of Interior and his father, this guy, was involved in, he has a private comp company for arms dealing. This is probably the reason why they installed him, so this guy uh, wasn't able to, he tried to uh, study two, two, fac two, two state faculties, I don't know which one were in question. But he, he failed and then he uh, fell back to uh, studying some private faculty and of course he faculty and of course he uh, he finished it and uh, this is the reason why he's uh, he's installed there as a uh, sort of a guardian of those illegal illegal arms trade, so uh, Minister of Interior is, uh, is a big deal. I mean, uh, according to some independent journalists, Serbian journalists, he was uh, in Washington. Uh, they called him here to, to probably to explain new steps, what, she, what she, he should do. I know, I think that was uh, before that scandal or after that scandal. So this, this was probably the reason why he was called to go to Washington. So, so this guy knows nothing about anything. Uh, literally a moron, so a slimy ba bastard. And they uh, just installed him to, to do, to control everything, to control the, the whole thing and uh, of course they covered military as well so military is covered with the uh, ex 
officers who were uh, with officers who were related to NATO, and of course the guy who is uh, a director of uh, state intelligence is the arms, uh, sorry, coffee smuggler, smuggler during the United Nations sanctions uh, when there was a civil war here, so they enabled him to, to get rich and he is doing some uh, favors to them, so covering up regarding not just this thing with uh, illegal arms trade, but all the other uh, cases of international organized crime. So, uh, what else is important? Yeah, this one, N1, is a branch of CNN in Balkans. They are also uh, writing about this and they created this uh, documentary, but they haven't mentioned uh, any any involvement of the uh, United States government. And you will see later that some other people who are uh, basically supporting the theory of uh, QAnon and uh, Trump as a savior and so on, they are mentioning that. So this is all uh, this is all planned. So they are trying to, uh, when there, there are evidence that the United States in, is involved, they are now train, trying to blame it on deep state. So deep state doesn't exist. This is a rubbish. This is pure rubbish about deep state. So there is only one government, no deep state government. So let's see uh, some interesting people here. So this was, this guy was a whistleblower. Uh, let me see. Okay. So this guy was uh, supposedly whistleblower to this uh, scandal. And this is a source sign. Fist. Uh, there are so Alexander Obradovich and of course none of them mentions uh, that uh, United States are involved so this guy is a journalist of Birn so Birn is uh, Balkan Balkan Inve investigative uh, reporting network so uh, foreign governments installed their people, so they're funding all those, uh, all those uh, networks and uh, big time uh, productions, so that so that they control that K that so that they can control the narrative and uh, make sure that their government's uh, involvement of, of their governments is not mentioned and as you can see N1 and CNN there are some other uh, branches of popular foreign western newspapers such as uh, BBC so uh, So this is BBC branch uh, in Serbia, although they also have a BBC in Serbia. So this means today in Serbia. And maybe I can find. Yeah. So BBC, actually, maybe they don't have. Yeah, they have. So they both have, so BBC both have uh, these uh, newspapers, and uh, they also have their own. So BBC.com Serbia. And there is, there are some others like uh, Blitz, which is a branch of Blik. Blik, I think this is the pronunciation. So Swiss. Uh, Swiss newspapers and so on and so on. So they uh, they're installing these people to, to to control the narrative, to control what is uh, what will uh, be aired. Uh, 
uh, okay, these are some other people. This is uh, the former president of uh, Association of uh, Attorneys of Belgrade. I wrote to him, but all those things, in, uh, but he ignored me and all the other, all the other uh, institutions and uh, those invest in the so supposedly independent investigative journalists. So they all ignored me. I uh, wrote to all of them. So uh, as can be seen, the the first to write about this were uh, Western funded, Western government funded uh, newspapers or news agencies. So let's see what's next. So uh, this is uh, again chrono in chronological order, Veterans Today. I don't know why I use cash, never mind. So uh, this is the, the date when it's published. So end of August 2017 and this is uh, the article as you can see this is the obviously the subject by a Russian uh, ex ex military analyst so this is the guy that Tashit guy he was on uh, Interpolist again him this is the associate of president of Serbia I mean president Water because he's illegally there I already have a video on that this is the brother of the president they're all involved in that crime but of course they're just puppets here the one who is organizing everything are the foreign governments and I will show now the proof so uh, this guy the author of this article is a former GRU analyst freelance correspondent and so on and so on and so on so GRU is uh, a uh, Foreign Military Intelligence Agency of the Soviet Army General Staff of the Soviet Union until 1991 so uh, this guy wrote about Serbia arming Daesh And uh, this guy who is a veteran journalist in Serbia, supposedly independent, he uh, wrote about that. This is basically that text, that article starting from here, but translated in Serbian with some introduction. So he wrote about that. Uh, a month later, after it, it, it is published in uh, on in Veterans Today, so uh, I think it's just a translation. I don't think that there is something that's uh, removed. I haven't checked checked it out, and of course there is another. Uh, So this is the, these are the newspapers of, of this guy called uh, Milan Berkic. So there is another article about uh, illegal arms trade, which was uh, wrote but by his closest associate, Brother Popovic. And uh, again, they are mentioning ISIS here. 
So it says Serbian grenades for uh, uh, Islamic terrorists. This is, I think, Matthew Palmer. He's the envoy uh, of, for uh, Western Balkans or something like that. This is the a uh, Diliana Gaitanjeva, a Bulgarian uh, investigative journalist, writing about this, about the whole thing. There are a lot of data here, obviously. And uh, I, uh, before continuing, so I show this anymore. Before continuing, I need to show some uh, screenshots. So uh, this is BBC, actually that uh, branch called Today, their branch in Serbia. I don't know if they are uh, airing in uh, or have newspapers. Uh, I mean, their articles publish, published in uh, other countries of Balkans. So it says here, uh, weapons from Serbia uh, on uh, video of uh, murdering uh, women and children in Cameroon. But I wasn't able to find that in BBC English version. So this is the same thing, I don't know, but on BBC, not on that today site, BBC in Serbia. So this is in uh, 2018. Next, uh, Diliana Getegia on Twitter on this Krushik uh, scandal. And this uh, whistleblower, Alexander Obradovic. Uh, then uh, about Twitter and following people who are following her. And then about cyber attacks uh, from uh, so here it is. US deploys private military contractors from Libya to Europe. Okay, so uh, this is uh, something from uh, BBC uh, Africa, BBC News Africa, but I wasn't able to find, as, I, as I'm about to show, uh, I wasn't able to uh, find this, this article, article with this topic on their uh, English UK website. Uh, this is something that I showed. This is the guy. Well, actually, this is something that has to do with uh, uh, illegal drug trafficking. And this is the guy who uh, who appeared in, in, in that uh, documentary on Krušik. So he's, uh, he's a uh, president of the military syndicate of Serbia. He says uh, that. Uh, the arms manu manufacturing is under control of, of the military. This is what he said here on 27th, uh, 39. And this is something that's published by Deutsche Welle. Again, regarding that uh, scandal with the uh, illegal arms trade. So arms watch website attacked. So attacks came from Serbia. This is something that uh, Diana Gaitanjira wrote about on her Twitter account. This is the video I'm about to play. And uh, these are some more details. So uh, 
this proves that uh, the, the fact that Deutsche Welle uh, published this in English, and this is something that I mentioned in, in that uh, email to the, uh, the United States Department of Justice. So the fact that uh, uh, Deutsche Welle is writing about that, about that scandal, and uh, CNN and other like Sky News, I, I will also show that, are not writing about that, means that the United States is behind this. So they won't write about that, although their branches like N1, so N1 is branch of CNN, is writing about that in Serbia, but they don't, they don't want to write it in English about that. So this is something that I wrote in my email, sent uh, more than, it will be almost three months now. And uh, this is the main proof that who, who is behind this, be, 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 uh, behind this illegal trade, who, who is organizing everything. So uh, prosecution uh, for organized crime is dealing with that, so but th this is not so prosecution uh, for organized crime of Serbia is dealing with that uh, investigation on legal trade, although it's not their responsibility as they are uh, for domestic organized crime. So, this is a responsibility, as I already noted, of the Republic Prosecution Office. I mean, they should just. Uh, collect the evidence and send it to international international institutions and uh, they are just uh, doing nothing on that so uh, after this news nothing nothing appeared in uh, on their uh, in investigation both in uh, Serbian and other newspapers I mean, the uh, European Commission had some complaints about that, but this is nothing. Yeah, this is not really that important. So, military and civilian or state intelligence agencies were asked to gather information. I mean, they won't gather it because they are working uh, the top people of those intelligence are, are controlled by foreign governments, Western, Western, Europe. I mean, in this case, because UN is, uh, sorry, United, uh, United States are behind this. Then not, nothing will happen. They are just trying to postpone it and uh, as much as possible. So I showed this. Okay, this is the same, so nothing more to show here. And uh, let's continue in chronological order. So uh, this is something that appeared on BBC News Africa. So Serbian made uh, weapon. It was used supposedly for uh, war crimes, committing war crimes. And I wasn't able to find, uh, so as you can see here, I searched for that keyword, for these keywords. And uh, the only thing that is reported here is Paris attacks. But this is these are not war crimes, this is terrorism. And this was written in... Uh, 2015 and of course there is again this that tweet and nothing after that so nothing I can go forward so so BBC is uh, doesn't write about that it's only in in this tweet with uh, within their their account for BBC News Africa uh, but again they they uh, 
even this is enough they they uh, wrote it in english so this also mean uh, that they are not behind this as uh, germany is also not behind this because they Deutsche Welle wrote about this and even France uh, French newspapers also wrote about this so, so they're uh, washing their, their cleans washing their hands clean of, of this scandal this is something that uh, that is not happening in, uh, in geopolitics unless it is huge scandal so the closest allies don't go against each, each other this is the main point here in, in the whole story. So uh, United States are in deep trouble regarding this scandal. And if you consider that they are at the top of Epstein scandal, so the worst scandal to hit to humankind, so they are uh, really, really compromised and they, will, they won't get, they won't restore their credibility anytime soon. Probably never after this. So this is why they are not blocking me. They're in deep trouble. So I posted very compromising in, uh, information to uh, to their government, top of their government, on their official Department of Justice, the most important department, of course, including the Department of Defense. So I posted on their official Twitter account, and they are not blocking me. Okay, so. Uh, let's move forward i again i showed that the uh, so i showed that uh, bbc is writing about that but they are uh, trying to uh, to avoid writing that in uh, english version for for uk but they wrote about that. I mean, it's enough that they, they wrote in on that Twitter account. So, uh, this is, uh, these are res the results if I enter uh, the name of that factory, arms factory. So this is a uh, Krushik, this is a uh, state factory. And you can see here that here is that uh, Deutsche Welle article from uh, 2019. So the end of 2019 was uh, when this scandal broke out with Krushik and that uh, guy who was uh, supposedly a whistleblower. Uh, Spiegel also wrote about that. So this is similar date. Spiegel and I think that uh, Figaro also wrote about that. I cannot find it, but that guy, that uh, president of uh, Attorney Association, he, he mentioned Figaro. So all of them, uh, uh, Germany, Britain, UK, uh, and uh, and France are not behind this. So the one who is not writing it, this is CNN and Sky News and so on and so on, is behind this. So uh, I think I have. So this is that article. She is. Uh, protected because of her husband so her husband is closely related to uh, his she's his second wife he is uh, someone who convinced Milosevic to surrender or create a separate video on this I mean I have one but I need to create another one so uh, she was at the top of secretary of, of uh, Ministry of Interior and she was uh, she's pr she was protected because uh, the closest family of that monster who monstrously murdered three members of my family uh, so closest family of, of, of that mo monster is uh, closely related to uh, her husband 
and her husband is uh, someone who convinced Milosevic to surrender, so Slobodan Milosevic to surrender. He was then exported to Hague, and the uh, uh, United States Embassy, I mean, all the other embassies were involved of Western European countries in Milosevic's arrest. They were pushing that really hard, but the one who was really behind this at the top was the uh, United States uh, embassy, actually United States government, which is directly controlling embassy, as it's, it is the case for all the other countries of the world. So uh, once I reported uh, the Ministry of Interior to Interpol, so this is my uh, account, YouTube, and if you go to tweets and replies and you go to the bottom which is uh, the date the 8th of July 2019 so I reported uh, everything to Interpol that uh, top Minister of Interior is involved in international organized crime so the police then acted and uh, forwarded my crime report to state prosecution and that was the breaking point of uh, moving the whole case of monstrous murders of three members of my family to international level so this was the, the most important thing and uh, they did it because it will eventually lead to, to, to this woman and she's a very controversial person but I want to uh, talk about that now so uh, these are the people. <coughs> I mean, I'm just I'm just mentioning that here because uh, all of them are all of the government, Serbian government, voted because uh, most of them are either not Serbs or are uh, just uh, mediocre. This is why they are installed. So I'm just trying to show that all of that is sort of related. And this is the that whole article. I just had a screenshot there. Again, it's in uh, it's in English, so it's on uh, English version of uh, Deutsche Welle. And they did a good thing for uh, when they published that. I mean, they could not publish this unless <coughs> their government allowed them to do that. And they 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 cannot do that. Uh, this type they cannot write about this type of thing with, without the prior uh, prior. Uh, approval of, the, of their government. I'm just trying to find something. Uh, I have here uh, Here uh, a uh, page where I was searching uh, for articles about that scandal. So this is about bombing in 1999, legal bombing, so 1999, 666. But nothing about
so nothing. And um, how about Sky News? Deutsche Welle. British sniper rifles. Yes. <coughs> so they are writing about British. Balkan inside, but no mainstream United States media at all. So this proves my claims that I uh, wrote in, in that email to DOJ and the Senate and the Attorney General. So I will. Uh, Now go to the the to the other side. So the other side are uh, people who are uh, forcing that story about uh, deep state, QAnon thing, uh, and uh, Trump being uh, Trump being a sa savior and so on and so on. So first one is this guy. So he's uh, now former politician. Uh, Sergeant Nogo and he is uh, presenting here that the one who is uh, be behind the uh, uh, illegal arms trade is uh, CIA ag agent uh, John David Neighbor. I will now play this clip, it's in Serbian uh, and we'll uh, just explain what he said and uh, I, I will probably, when I have time, I will add the subtitles in English. So uh, I will now play it and stop when there is something to uh, to explain. Who is the affair of the war? How is the affair of the war? It's the most interesting video. I have it publicly announced, but unfortunately, Niko ne sme da ovaj... Ne da me je prenesem, neće niko ne da se javi da me demantuje. Evo, izvalite. Gospodine Zlatanoviću, ovo je lice. Kao što vidite, to je njegov pasoš koji je izdat 13. januara 2003. godine. U pitanju je Terence Michael Hoss. To je pasoš United Kingdom of Great Britain in Northern Ireland. Znači, britanski pasoš. Čovjek posjeduje, a njegovo ime je pod kojim je on poznat u građanima Republike Srbije, je John David Neibor. Znači, to je lice koje je uhavšeno zajedno sa momčilom Perišićem u onoj aferi, jel te, čuvenoj, što je inače svetskih razmena afera koja se, ja mislim, proučava u svim obaveštenim zajednicama i na svim kursejima. So, you could hear that he said John David Neibor. He changed his identity and uh, he was in charge, uh, uh, agent in charge, CIA, CIA agent in charge for uh, Balkans area. And uh, according to this guy, he will now talk about that, he, uh, he was uh, arrested when uh, So here it is. This is one of the oldest uh, newspapers. So uh, John David Neighbor was involved in a scandal of spying where, when uh, the former head of uh, headquarters of Serbian army, or maybe Army of Yugoslavia, was uh, handling the documents to foreign agents foreign secret, uh, secret agents, uh, foreign intelligence. So this is the guy Perisic. And uh, it says here, John David Neighbor and Anthony Moncton. It says here uh, that they are British. 
intelligence MI6 and some uh, high officers of, of uh, Serbian police so uh, this is neighbor and this is Moncton they were uh, they are also mentioned in uh, the operation of uh, arresting Milosevic that was a big deal I think both of them are mentioned but I will create a separate video on this so uh, this guy was arrested by military intelligence when again was handling some uh, secret documents confidential documents to uh, to foreign intelligence and after that he uh, was uh, he was released because he was using his diplomatic uh, diplomatic immunity and supposedly died in car crash but then he reappeared here as that guy kada je naša vojna služba bezbednosti uhapsila šefa CIA tadašnjeg u Beogradu Joe Leader Neibora i momčila Perišića bivšeg načelnika generalštaba i so he said that he was the the chief of CIA here probably i don't know if he meant Serbia or Balkans John David Neibor while that newspaper article claimed that he is British MI6 so I'm not really sure about that, but anyways, I mean, it's for intelligence. Podpredsjednika vlade. Kada je predsjednik vlade bio tako, vlada Republike Srbije, predsjednik vlade bio Zoran Zinić. Čovi su uhapšeni i posle toga, kada je se poznala diplomatski imunitet, Hovs je oslobođen i krenuo je za Budimpeštu, evakuisan iz Srbije i na tom putu je on poginuo. Odnosno, zakucao se automobil u... Zakucao se automobil u cisternu s gorivom i on je čovjek iz gore, ali... Zakucao se u cisternu za gore. Jeste, evo vidite da cijel je razvila sposobnost, očigledno, da podiže iz mrtvih. I mi imamo živog i zdravog čovjeka koji je poginuo, jel te, proleća 2002. a januara 2003. izvadio pasoš, živ i zdrav. I danas se nalazi, znate gde? Gde? U Bugarskoj, u Sofiji. On koordinira i upravlja radom. CIE i MI6 na teritoriji jugoistočne Evrope. Znači ovo lice, Teres Michael. So, he said that he's both CIA and MI6 and he's in charge for Eastern Europe and he's now in Bulgaria. I think he said Bulgaria and uh, he's coordinating everything related to MI6 and CIA from Bulgaria and I mean that guy house or uh, neighbor or whatever is his real name so let's see if there is uh, something more interesting here Hovs, odnosno John David Neighbor. Znači to je lice koje upravlja i koje stoji za pokretanje cele ove afere. Ja vas vraćam... A zašto bi pokretali? Ja predlažem, pošto ste vi novina Srbine Info, da vi uputite dopis. Jedan dopis Lengliju, a drugi dopis... Ali možete ustupiti u kontakt s ovim licem, da mu posadite određena pitanja. O njemu bi trebala jedna posebna emisija, znači njegove veze sa Mojsom i o hapšenju 17 agenata Cije u Iranu koja je se dogodila nedavno i u brojnim drugim stvarima i to bi bilo najbolje ostaviti za neku posebnu emisiju koja bi se ticala i Neibora i generalno rada Cije. Ali što je za nas interesantno za trgovinu orušenja? Američka firma je prava firma, odnosno firma Cije koja trguje orušenja od nas, znači uzme ona oružje ili njeni pak saradnici Saudi Arabija, Ujedinjeni Arabski Emirati i to oružje završi u Siriji i Jemenu. Naši su to naravno morali znati, jer ako imate deklaraciju da to oružje ide u Virginiju, nema šanse da završi u Americi naša minobacačka granata. Da. Jer znači im Amerikanci nemaju minobacače za takve granate. Kao što i Saudi Arabija i Ujedine Arabske Eliminate imaju oružje po američku glavnom oružju i NATO standardne, nema šanse da oni kupuju od nas oružje. 
Jasno je da aminovacarske granate nisu namenjene za nekoga drugoga. Znači, to je nama odmah trebalo bude signal o lampice. Da znamo da to oružje neće biti tamo gde je naveden krajnik koristi, bez obzira što smo mi formalno pravno kao čisti u načelu. Ali i naša krivica, ne može se posmatra izolovano krivica Amerikanac. I vracamo se na intervju gospodina Obradovića dati Jugoslavu Ćosiću, gde on odlično objaštjeva i potencira ove moje reči. Kada kaže, u bombardovanju je uništeno 92% krušika. Onda nam Amerikanci ne dozvoljavaju da radimo, odnosno ne dozvoljavaju nam izlazak na strana tržišta. Ali se to 2015. promenilo i krušiku su oni otvorili poslove. Znači, bez njih ništa ne bi bilo. Tako je. I tu imamo, prvo nas bombardujete, pa nam ne radimo, pa nam onda date da izvozimo tamo gde treba. Znači, njima je trebalo da nas upetljaju sa islamskom državom. Pazite, mi koji smo, srpski narod koji je prva žrtva islamske države. Znači, prvi smo se sukobili sa islamskom brojno stanje Vojske Republike Srpske. Od toga armija u tom ratu. I jedan su očini. Država poražena zahvaljujući Rusiji na Bliskom istoku. So, what he's trying here to say is that he mentioned that the legal arms trade started in 2015 because that this is another spin. Because that uh, factory Krushik was uh, destroyed, as I just showed in those articles in uh, during bombing of Serbia in 1999. So uh, he's trying to uh, create an impression that leave an impression that uh, everything started recently, while it everything started uh, in 2001 as I uh, showed in that, in that uh, documentary. So this is, uh, they are using a lot of different strategies to, to cover up everything. So uh, those uh, big time uh, productions fund, funded by uh, foreign governments, I mean, in this case, of the illegal arms trade funded by United States government, they are talking, they are blaming uh, uh, everything on uh, Serbian government, which is rubbish. They they, they cannot do that. They have the the intellectual uh, capacities to 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 do that, and uh, these guys telling the other story, but. Uh, it's it it comes it comes down to the same thing to to cover up what really happened so another guy who i already mentioned this guy a uh, veteran journalist of serbia supposedly independent he is trying to so these are the important parts of that of this interview, he's trying to blame everything on so-called deep state, and he claimed that. Uh, so this was the, all these uh, interviews were in December of 2019 when that uh, scandal broke out about Krušik uh, illegal arms trade. So uh, he's trying to blame everything on so-called deep state and that. Uh, Trump will uh, take care of that and so on and so on. Of course, that didn't happen. Trump lost elections. So uh, everything this guy said is uh, simply, these are simply speculations. So I will play uh, the a, uh, important parts of this interview. But before that, I just want to play something uh, from one movie. It's about the so-called uh, crack cocaine epidemic. This is the reason why uh, that scandal with uh, Levinsky, as stated in that movie, Kill the Messenger. Why that scandal with Levinsky and Bill Clinton was uh, created. Bill Clinton was uh, doing way worse thing way before that. So, uh, attacking women, 
and uh, this is the book related to the movie so the movie is again uh, called Kill the Messenger it's about the journalist Gary Webb who uh, wrote about CIA involvement in uh, <coughs> smuggling cocaine from Nicaragua and uh, I'm just playing this uh, as a sort of a proof I mean uh, assuming that this uh, scene in court really happened and according to to the documentary Shadows of Liberty this really happened so I'm playing this to, to show that there is no uh, there is no deep state so it's, it's only government Mr. Blandon yes Yes, what? The government knew. Knew everything? So the government knew. No deep state, deep government, whatever it is called. So there is only government controlled by the mafia. So the real mafia is controlling the government. And my case proves that. Because you can see on my channel that... Uh, uh, Russian embassy in Belgrade is ignoring me all the day. Their uh, doctors, I think I mentioned that in this video, because I created a lot of videos today. So their doctors uh, were responsible. So they were uh, sort of guest doctors here in in one uh, hospital for eye diseases. They injected something. I proved they did it. Uh, they did it on purpose inject something into my eye and I ended up with four eye melanomas in my eye, left eye. This is the one of the worst cancer, cancer type of cancers to date. And uh, they're simply ignoring me. They uh, knew really well that uh, behind uh, the one who was co covering up monstrous murders of my family is United States Embassy because it will eventually lead to to their embassy and to as I already explained and to their government that is controlling that embassy so according to, to, to some rules of uh, that uh, never-ending conflict of uh, which is just rubbish so that never-ending con conflict of West and East or more precisely of United States and Russia this should not happen, so they should not help uh, uh, United States government, but they, they exactly did that. And uh, now, because they are ignoring me, they're just proving that I'm right, and that uh, there is no there is no such thing as uh, as that conflict. This is just created conflict to to. Uh, maintain so-called atmosphere of fear atmosphere of fear or to keep people uh, feared for their lives scared for their lives as uh, their narrative goes that there will be some sort of uh, nuclear war or something like that no that's that's rubbish so they are they are simply controlled by the same mafia okay so uh I will now play this last video on the on the topic. There will, there will, there will probably be more videos on this, but for now I think this is enough. And uh, those uh, videos that I showed uh, created by documentaries created by uh, Insider production and uh, with, collab uh, with co collaboration of uh, uh, with collaboration with uh, Radio Free Europe is basically uh, I mean they're hiding a lot of stuff but it's there, there are a lot of information there so they're hiding the involvement of uh, United States government but there are a lot of information they also created uh, I mean they need to 
to maintain that illusion so that people trust them. So they simply need to, to present uh, some important information, but again to hide other more important information. This is why they're called controlled opposition. So uh, if you want to know more about that, you uh, you need to watch to start with those those documentaries. I hope that they will uh, they will add English version. So I think there is, there is English version of that uh, scandal with uh, illegal. Uh, illegal uh, drug trade. This was a huge, huge scandal, and it is called some no uh, again N one. So this is N one. So either it's N one or Insider or uh, or Radio Free Europe. I mean the the collaboration, those documentaries which are. Uh, collaboration between uh, Insider Production and uh, Radio Free Europe are aired on this TV, uh, on N1 TV. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so here is the uh, English version. I just want to, to see if... Uh, It's the same thing, so it looks the same. What if I go? If, what if I click two? And if I click two here, two, I mean number. Yeah. So, uh, well, actually, the these are built-in subtitles. I hope they will do the, the same thing with uh, the documentary on illegal arms trade. So this is very very interesting again because this was uh, international. So this this was, uh, I mean, uh, this this thing. Now I'm going to another topic. This this was uh, this illegal drug uh, drug trade. Uh, uh, I mean illegal legal always so uh, it's uh, it has uh, both state intelligence and military intelligence involved so this is why I'm, of course I will create a separate video on this this is why I suggest you watch this video again it has a lot of information but on the other side it hides that uh, this is done with uh, international institutions because this is international that it, it was sold to, to, to other countries on Balkans and probably to other countries in the world this uh, this was a huge farm of cannabis and uh, which doesn't mean that I'm, I'm against cannabis especially oil not smoking but oil so if my father had that he will not suffer that much but anyways uh, so it is impossible that, uh, having in mind that th this was international trade, drug trade, uh, it is impossible that international in institutions didn't, uh, uh, knew nothing about this, so they knew that very well. And this is something that you won't uh, see here, so that part of uh, international institutions looking on the other side of the scandal. But anyways, it has a lot of, lot of information, valuable information, because they need uh, people to trust them. And when it comes to more, the most important part, they, they will simply skip it, they won't talk about that. So this is why they are controlled opposition and controlled investigative journalists. Okay, so uh, again, so the same companies. The same productions are, be, are behind this, so controlled narrative. And let's finish everything with this video. So I'm starting with 207. I'll stop and uh, 
explain where needed and of course as with all the other videos I will eventually add subtitles in English for all those videos which are in Serbia su te rakete koje su oborile malezijski avion nad Ukrajinom došle u posjed ratnih kazova znači neonacista iz Ukrajine So this guy said that, that uh, Malaysia, Malaysian uh, plane is uh, was taken down by using uh, uh, Serbian uh, missiles, some missiles made in Serbia. I don't know if that was a uh, that was published. There, I don't know if there, there was an article on that in. Uh, foreign foreign newspapers I uh, I don't have time now. I mean this is a lot this video contains a lot of information so I won't go into these details but I mean I trust this guy he won't uh, I, I heard that before from, from from other sources so but again I don't know if this is uh, this is something that's uh, that foreign news agencies wrote about so I will continue with uh, next stop 16 13 so I think this part is about so called uh, deep state let's hear what blokadi hiljadu dana. Suština je u tome. To je tri godine. Tri godine. Znači, oni uzimaju brat, otac, Nebojuša Stefanovića, oružje po... Branko Stefanović. Branko Stefanović. Koga su ove sad nazvali granat. Da. On uzima oružje po proizvodnoj ceni. Ta cena ne pokriva ni troškove. Umesto da to radi SDPR, koji je registrovan za to i to je namenska delatnost moja. SDPR Jugo Import, to radi privatna kompanija oca ministra unutrašnjih poslova i tu se uvećava cena od ove obične do svetske cene oružja. Valjda dvostruko, trostruko više. Nije, ali zar su toliko bili glupi? Evo, ova bugarska... So, he was talking talking in this segment about the father of minister of former minister of interior, now minister of defense being involved in the scandal. So, there are a lot of people involved, not just this guy. That guy from... Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, uh, what was his name, I forgot now, Tešić, but also uh, the father of uh, Minister of uh, Interior, former Minister of Interior, and some other private companies, so they are basically buying uh, the guns at the lowest possible price, and uh, selling it for uh, for a way higher price, which is basically, it basically means uh, robbing the, the the state, I mean the taxpayers. So uh, this is probably something that's allowed. That uh, this is something that their ma masters from uh, Western, I mean in this case United States allow them to do because they were good slaves and they now want to give them wanted to give them the piece of, of that huge cake novinarka tvrdi Dilijana Gajtenđijeva da su oni to oružje slali u Siriji na primjer da bi se s tim oružjem napadali ljudi koji brane svoju otažbinu sirijska vojska odnosno da bi se čak i napadali ruski vojnici, davalo i se su... Zar je moguće da je toliko ih je pohlepa 
preuzela, da nisu razmišljali. U tekstu zamjena diktator u eksperiment državi, analitičar vojne obavještene službe Rusije do detalja opisuje put oružja. Kuda je, preko kojih luka je transportovan, kuda su brodovi odlazili, u koje države, kako su pravljeni lažni papiri. Ta pohlepa za... A ko je to sve organizovao? Organizator te trgovine je američki diplomata Matthew Palmer. On je sad izaslanik duboke države. Da, izaslanik duboke države. On je organizovao tu kriminalnu strukturu. So, you heard Matthew Palmer. So, he claimed here that this journalist claimed here that uh, the one who is who was organizing uh, uh, illegal arms trade, I mean the one who uh, started according to them in 2015, he was the one who organized everything. And uh, you also hear, uh, heard here uh, Duboka Država, which means deep state. So they're trying to blame deep state on this. While uh, as I showed this part of the movie, Kill the Messenger, there's only one state, actually only one government, no deep state, nothing. U Srbiji i omogućuju im da zarađuju prodajom oružje da bi finansirali sostvene. Znači on im je obezbedio prohodnost kod američkih kompanija, kod američkih vojnih vlasti koje su demokrate instalirali. Ovo je velika prilika da sadašnja administracija predsjednika Trumpa očisti te džepove u Pentagonu koji su još u službi bivše demokratske vlade. Matthew Palmer je glavni organizator šverca oružja. I iz Bugarske, i iz Srbije. Ali on to nije mogo sam. Koje su to strukture koje ga pomijem? Pa iza njega on je uticajan u ministarstvu spodnih posla Sjedinih država. So he now mentioned Trump, that he will take care of that deep state players, who are Democrats, and so on and so on. Of course that didn't happen. And he said that Matthew Palmer organized illegal arms trade or, or arms smuggling not just in Serbia but also in Bulgaria Bulgaria and uh, he's not trying to explain who is really behind him behind Matthew Paul State Department State Department on je Jack Medlin Albright znači on ima uticaj on ima novac on je eksponent Soros fondacije i on ima novac da podmitio je službenike u State Departmentu koji su finansirali njegovu napredak. So as can be heard here, he mentioned that Matthew Palmer is the was taught by Madeline Albright and that uh, he has a lot of money to uh, bribe people from the US administration which is uh, which is of course rubbish so uh, these are just fairy tales i mean the difference a bit different strategy but the the same goal so to uh, blame anyone else but not the one who is really uh, responsible and this is United States government. Evo, vi se bavite u novom tabloidu time kako je Vučić sa crne liste postao miljenik Vašetona, pa opet njegov neprijatelj. Kako se to desilo, taj zaokret? Znači, opet imamo bukvalno za 306 stepeni. Da, da, on je, Matthew Palmer je bio službenik ovde u našoj, u Amerijskoj ambasadi u Srbiji, u dva navrata i on se oženio srpkinjom koja je radila u američkoj ambasadi, Danicom Damjanović. Izvinite, a sad je Vučić pominio isto nekog Damjanović. So, this guy stated that Matthew Palmer was working in the embassy of 
United States in Belgrade and he married Serbian woman and uh, he's now in uh, they are now living in uh, according to this guy of course I don't know if this is true in uh, Montenegro so let's hear what else he has to say kao trgovca oružja i Crne Gore, ili ima je to veze neke ili nema? Ja nemam ta saznanja. Pitam li zato, evo sad mi pade na pamet na stara. Ona je rođena, beograđanka i majka je tu u centru živa i među je koristio račune tašte da prima pare od Vučića. Oni su sad preseljeni u dobre vode kod bara, imaju kuću na obali mora. Znači, više nije u evidenciji srpskog državljana, tako da predpostavljam razloge. So, what is important to mention regarding this guy and that previous guy from previous interview, Nogo, they will never say where they got those confidential information and the only one who can give them that those information are those pieces of information are either uh, Serbian intelligence when they got those information from uh, from uh, foreign intelligence or foreign intelligence which is more likely what happened or they got those informations directly from uh, foreign intelligence so this is, it is impossible that, that, that they know so much of uh, confidential and, uh, and uh, uh, delicate information. This, this, it is impossible that some regular people will, will give them uh, so much information. So they are, they are doing this f for a reason and this guy was uh, sort of... Uh, PR of the of the police syndicate or something like that. He mentioned that in one of the videos, one of the interviews. So uh, let's see if there is something else that he mentioned. I, th I think that he will now mention uh, Mike Pompeo. I also mentioned Mike Pompeo in the, in the end. And there is also art art uh, article. In his new newspaper, called Tabloid, I showed them magazine Tabloid. Uh, I also mentioned uh, Mike Pompeo, both Matthew Palmer and Mike Pompeo, comic Mike Pompeo in that uh, email to DOJ. So uh, I think that also the uh, Tony Blair is mentioned regarding some uh, some meeting in. Uh, Brussels or something like that. I will, I will play that this part now and I will comment when he's finished. On je uspeo da dosta dobro u to tu svoju politiku uče i državnog sekretara Michaela Pompea. Ideo Pompea. Da da. Vi se sećate da su oni u pre tri meseca imali sastanak Tony Blair. Vučić s jedne i Matthew Palmer i Mike Pompeo s druge strane u sali koja pripada američkom delu u jedinim nacijama. Ok, so this was in United Nations, so he said that from that meeting that allegedly happened, on one side there was a Serbian president quoted Vučić, and uh, Tony Blair and on the other side was uh, uh, Matthew Palmer and Mike Pompeo. So this guy claims that Mike Pompeo uh, is involved in this because Matthew Palmer convinced him in this whole thing with uh, illegal uh, illegal activities. So. Uh, that meeting was in the United States part of uh, offices in uh, United Nations. 
Da, to je bilo u septembru, kad je bilo august, tako ne. U septembru, 22. septembru. I da sedam minuta nedostaje za tog razgovora. Znači da su, ipak je sniman taj razgovor po nalogu Bele kuće. Bilo potpuno ne... Da, državni sekretar. Državni sekretar se sastaje u prostorijama Ujedinjih nacija. Taj deo pripada predstavniku Amerike. Znači, ne ostaje sedam minuta. To znači da su... je uspeo da dosta dobro u to u tu svoju politiku uče i vi se sećate da su oni u Matthew Palmer i Mike Pompeo s druge strane u sali koja pripada američkom delu u jedinim nacijama da to je bilo u septembru i da sedam minuta nedostaje za tog razgovora. Znači da su, ipak je sniman taj razgovor po nalogu Bele kuće. Bilo pa... So he stated that there are seven minutes on missing from that meeting, which was recorded. And he said that during that meeting they were exchanging papers with the amount of money with potpuno ne... Da, državni sekretar. Državni sekretar se sastaje u prostorijama Ujedinjih nacija. Taj deo pripada predstavniku Amerike. Znači, ne ostaje sedam minuta. To znači da su učesnici razgovarali ceduljicama iznos 250 miliona. O tome se vodi osježna istraga kad to bude došlo do zadrušiti, to će biti kraj i gospodina Pompeja i gospodina Palmera. Nekoliko dana ranije, znači deset dana ranije, Andrej Vučić je pokušao u Londonu u Pireus Banci da uplati 200 miliona. Da uplati? Da. Oni su ga odbili jer su rekli da osoba nije proverena niti ima dokaz o poreklu novca i ne znam, još u nekim bankama je pokušala je svuda odbijeti, da li je u nekoj arapskoj banci. A znate vi odakle je taj novac? A to je od nas opljačkano ovde u Srbiji. To je to, taj, ne mislim sam da nije neko konkretno ko Beograd na vodi. Pa vidite, to je novac, Andrej Vučić je zaradio i novac on je u kovnici novca bio zaposlen da je i njegov otac je radio i prodao je za milijardu evra akcizne markice Albancima s Kosova za 600 miliona. Znači on je zaradio 600 Albanci na tim akciznim 400 miliona. Dakle, on je prodao desetinu hiljada pasoša nemački i slovenački i iranskoj obavještenje službi i Arapima iz koji su ušli u Srbiju sa nemačkim i slovenačkim pasošim i otišli u Nemačku, Francusku, Ameriku. Kad je to otkrivano, to je šokantno bilo. Ali sve je Matthew Palmer, znači visoki činovni State Departmenta, to pokrivo. Kao interesima Amerike. Nije važno što će Srbija propasti, to ne zanima. Njima je važno da Vučić prizna nezavisno Kosovo, da Soroš uveze dva miliona migranata u Srbiji i da se taj projekat Georgea Soroša, Rošilda i nekih centara moći da se treće svetizuje Evropa i da se uništi bela rasa privede kraj. Koliko je osvarjiv taj projekat? Pitam i od čega zavisi da li će biti osvarjiv ili nije? Srećom pojavio se na političkoj i svjetskoj sceni američki predsjednik Donald Trump So he didn't say what was that 
meeting about what uh, why they exchanged those uh, papers with the amount of money they were ne negotiating uh, to about the amount of money but he didn't say uh, for what uh, the supposedly uh, Serbian government paid those uh, those guys so Mike Pompeo and uh, Matthew Palmer and he also mentioned uh, that 10 days before uh, that meeting in United Nations that uh, meeting was uh, held on uh, 22nd of September 2019 allegedly I don't know I don't know if that happened and uh, 10 days before that I think uh, brother of the Serbian president quoted I showed them I, sh I showed him in that in that article I showed his picture in that article uh, in veterans today so he tried to uh, to pay uh, somebody I don't know he didn't say to, to, to who was the, the person to uh, To, to uh, who who should receive that payment? So the payment was uh, something like uh, uh, two hundred thousand dollars or maybe euros. He tried in Pirelli's bank, I think in London. They uh, rejected him. He tried in other banks. He was also rejected. So uh, in the end, he didn't say what was that money uh, to to whom uh, who was the the who was the one who should receive that money and for, for what reason so he didn't say that but another thing I, I uh, forgot to mention uh, this is something that he uh, mentioned uh, when uh, that he said so this guy said that when explaining explaining uh, how come that uh, Matthew Palmer is so powerful to, to organize as a, as a individual to organize such thing as illegal arms trade he mentioned that not just uh, Madeleine Albright is behind him but also Soros so he mentioned Soros money and he also mentioned here right before I stopped the video he also mentioned not just Soros again but also Rothschild so uh, this is basically that uh, same story about the, the it comes down to the same thing about the uh, deep state and that sort of stuff here but again and of course he said that uh, there was an ongoing investigation regarding that meeting with the president quoted of Serbia Vucic and uh, Tony Blair on one side and uh, Mike Pompeo with uh, Matthew Palmer on the other side and when this and and when that investigation is over that will be the end of both Pompeo and Palmer which of course didn't happen as everybody knows the Mike Pompeo at that time 2019 so September 2019 uh, is uh, the date when that meeting was uh, taking place in United Nations so he was uh, Secretary of State at that time and it is uh, very interesting that this is uh, <laughs> this video is still here so nobody blocked it or removed it I mean YouTube didn't block it or removed it and so on and so on so this means that they are controlled opposition both this guy and that, this, that previous guy that guy mentioned, uh, shown, showed in previous video, no go. So uh, I think that should be all on that matter of illegal arms trade related to Serbia. And as I said in, at the beginning of this video, this is uh, uh, addition to that video of email I sent to DOJ and the uh, Attorney General and uh, the Senate.